Last time on Mysterious Island. Joanna! Oh, that was no phantom. He's trying to scare us off. Joanna? Joanna! He harmed so much as one hair on her. You recognize that, Pencroft? It's Joanna's. Are you mad? He had his hands on your throat. He was trying to kill you. I found blood. Why did you have to die? Your phantom framed Ayrton? Have you all gone mad? What are you gonna do now, Ayrton? He can jump. No, Pencroft. Shut you? up, Gideon. Jack! How can you be so sure that he's your enemy? I love you, Jack. Where is it then? What? The sea monster. Isn't this where it come up? Come up around here, all right. I'm sure it's clean out of the water, you know. It's about something we come back down. Quicker than the ship. And the dead man? He's walking the plank. Reckon it ate him, you know. Bollocks. You called me a liar. Boy, I reckon you had a bit much brandy. You reckon there's no such thing as sea monsters, eh, Smythe? Eh? <laughs> How about a little prover, eh? Eh? Well, say we, uh, we drop you right over here and you swim the rest of the ways. How about that, Smythe? Eh? <laughs> Kiln stoked hot enough to melt the lead. Ah. How hot is that exactly? Ah, well, let me put it this way. You wouldn't want to spill any on your britches. <laughs> Don't worry, Gideon. I'm very good at mending britches. <laughs> <laughs> Look like you've made a few of these in your time, Pencroft. I... I've shot a few, too. Think you can handle it? Um... Certainly. Good. With Herbert and Harding away, I'm gonna have to help Joanna to weave the fishnets. Cheerio. Right. Bullet making. You need any help there, Mr. Yeah, um, no. No, thank you, Herbert. All right, then. Captain, I've packed the things we're gonna need for our trip. Good, Herbert. Put this back. We'll make do with one. Thanks. Journal of Captain Nemo, entry modification of human behavior, number 107. Despite being exposed to an unknown force of vastly superior strength, the allure of money has overcome reason once again. Afraid of the dark, are we? Get in there! Nice English gents. 
<laughs> lost a bit of weight since I saw them last. Now, lad, push him aside. Come on, start digging. Stevens. Captain, look at that. What? There's something flashing. Where? Down there. Looks like a signal. Let's have a look. Now, several weeks out of Calcutta, board HMS Britannia. And I'm looking forward to returning as soon as possible. There are great fortunes to be made there. The labor is remarkably cheap, although they are a lazy lot. Discipline is unfortunately necessary at all times. The children fare much better. They die easily, but they procreate so quickly that labor is never a problem. <laughs> you bloody thieving traitor! the boat. There ain't no treasure here, just a haunted cave. We came here for the gold, and I ain't leaving this island till we find it. That English prig who stole it. Captain! Smoke! Well, 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 lad. I think we have found our dead man. Nothing. Must have been our imagination. I could have sworn it was a reflection of some kind. Captain, there it is again. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Herbert. Aha. There we are, Herbert. Mystery solved. A mirror. What did you think it was going to be? Oh, I don't know. I was hoping for something a little more. Dramatic? Just one more little clue to add to the list. Our mystery man has left his calling card. But why here? Well, I'll get it. See it? No. <laughs> Just 
Just another human invention I could do without. Well, I suppose it'll be useful. I'll pack it carefully. Captain, there's a cave over there. A torch? Hmm. It's still warm. We're not going in there. Herbert, bring me the matches. I don't think this is very wise. We've been led here for some reason, Herbert. Aren't you the least bit curious to find out what it is? Well, after you. you think they've been here? Quite a while, Herbert. <sighs> Captain? They must have been pirates. Let's get it out of there. Ready? Miss Britannia. It's a British naval vessel. Uh -huh. Herbert, we found some treasure. The rupees. Where are they from? India. And what are they doing in our British naval chest? You need a lesson in English colonial history, Herbert. <laughs> Mr. Ayrton. What is it? What is it? What? A ship! It's a junk. We better signal it, Herbert. We'll light a fire. What is it, Ed? You know this ship? Cutler! He spoke! What did you say, Ed? Cutler! Uh, Cutler! Uh, Is that what it uh, was? Cutler! He must know where the people from the ship have gone. We better follow him. Rumors abound of huge sea monsters and ruthless pirates in these waters. I would prefer being in Calcutta, dealing with more petty realities. She was beautiful, although more light-skinned than the others, and those eyes. Fascinating creature, bedazzled me with her deviltry. It was impossible to take her aboard, and I simply could not leave her behind for anyone else. I had her killed, but my loss is bearable knowing she had been only mine. Why'd you be? Oh, um, spirit. Psst. Spill it. Gideon, spill it. And you, sir? Spill it? <laughs> Another English gent, eh, Luke? <laughs> Have you ever heard the name Cutler? No, I'm afraid not. Well, my reputation isn't what it used to be. <laughs> Did you find some treasure lately? Treasure? Don't play games with me, spirit! <laughs> The cave, the chest is empty. Where is the money? I don't know anything about any money or treasure or cave. Give me that. Come on, Mr. Spirit. Be a good little host. Show us around. Too quick to keep up with. We have to. I'm sure he knows something about that junk. So, 
sir. Mr. Spillett, how did you and your fellow travelers get here? Who said anything about fellow travelers? I do. How many of you are there? Hmm? How many? A dozen. Do you care to take another guess? I could very easily finish you off right here and now. <laughs> now, how did you get here? I don't think you'd believe me, even if I told you. Try me. By Baloo. <laughs> Silence! Here. Gideon? Well, well, well. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. Look! Gideon. A dozen, eh? Hmm? Oh, she's a beauty. Hey, what? Sit down. What do you want? Well, it's a little matter of some mislaid treasure, which happens to belong to me. This is ridiculous, Mr. Captain. It's Captain Cutler. Well, Captain, we don't have it. Mm. What's that? Well, this. It's a diary. Careful, please. It's a book. Didn't think I could read, eh? Where did you get this? I found it. In that trunk. Stevens? I've already looked, Captain. Nothing but clothes. Really, Mr. <laughs> Captain, we don't have it. You're welcome to anything we do have, so why don't you just take it and go? Oh, that's very generous of you, man. But, uh, uh, just the treasure I'll be taking. Where did you find that trunk? The other side of the island. Uh, ever hear of a man called Aiden? Ah! So the murderous Paycock is alive. Oh, we go way back. We are old friends, about six years. We had a deal, eh, Luke? Only he didn't keep his part of the bargain. What bargain? He didn't die. I can take you to him. Oh, you know where he is? I know where he lives. Now, you wouldn't be lying to me now, would you? I'll take it to him on one condition. Go on, go on. Jack, you can't make a deal with this man. Really? Go on, Jack. I'll show you his place, all right, but no harm comes to them while we're gone. And what if there's no treasure? Well, there's no air. What then, Jack? I'll make sure I find him. Jack, you can't. It's a deal. If we're not back by uh, sunrise, uh, kill him. He's got the treasure. He does. And there's no one else in sight. What's he doing with it? tend to set sail for after you leave the island. Oh, once we've got the money, anyway's good enough for me. Maybe New Zealand. Hey, Smythe. There is any. You want off this island, eh, Pencroft? Yes, we do. And you want me to take you aboard. 
All of us. <laughs> Can't do that. But I can take you. And I can take that pretty wife of yours. That you, Ed? <laughs> well, life hasn't been so lucky, eh? Hmm? What's the matter, Ed? And can't talk? Or won't? So, you thought you could get away with my treasure, did you? Eh? Eh? Right, you ruddy worm! Pencroft! Shoot him. Right between the eyes. If you can do that, Pencroft, you have bought yourself a passage off this island. Do it! Do it, man! Drop your weapon. Or he's dead. Jack, if you wouldn't mind. Sir. <laughs> there was a dozen. Give me a drink. Not you. Her. Yourself, eh? You filthy pig. What did you say? I said you're nothing but a filthy pig. What did you call me? Yeah. 
think you know how to use one of them, do you? I think so. <laughs> You're a lucky lady. Till they get back. If they get back. Very nicely handled indeed. Make him carry it. It's his bloody money. What do you mean, his? His? We stole it off him. Tell them. Oh, you didn't know. What are you talking about? You don't know who that little man is. Well, who do you think he is? The bloody Viceroy to India is all. How'd you feel? Oh, a little bruised. A little battered. I certainly gave them what for, didn't I? Yes. Yes, you did. The, um, the journal, where is it? You stay away from me. Here it is, Gideon. What is it, anyway? It's... It's Ayrton's diary. It's what? That's right. Ayrton's diary. Can I see it? Yes. But don't let them get their dirty hands on it. Huh. Wouldn't touch it with my clean hands. The man's a murderous savage. What would you know? Oh, I know plenty. He killed thousands of people, poor ones, without mercy. What are you talking about? Mr. Ayrton wouldn't hurt anybody. <laughs> He's not like you. <laughs> They're right, Joanna. Here. Here. Read for yourself. Yeah. Read us something while we're waiting. Read it. Her death was necessary. She was so beautiful. Still a child, really. If I'd had the choice, I would have traded 1,000 of her fellow slaves' lives for hers. But that wasn't possible. Why should we believe you? Oh. There's a cave on this, on this island with two very skinny skeletons. Yes, we saw them. Ayrton killed them both. That's only your word against his. How would you know what his word is? Cat's got his tongue. Me and Ayrton had a deal, you see. We'd leave the treasure buried. He'd get a passage out of my boat. If he took care of those two in the cave. But, uh, I cut out on the deal. I made him walk the plank. Do you remember that, Ayrton, eh? <laughs> Here he is, still alive. By the way, Ayrton, how did you get away from that sea monster? What sea monster? Whoa. 
Nearly destroyed my ship at an ice mine. Aye. Aye. Captain, can we discuss this later? My wife is keeping some fairly undesirable company. Pick them up. Come on. <coughs> I don't believe this. It's all here, Joanna, in its own handwriting. So the treasure's really Ayrton's? Ayrton's? Not the pirates? No. Apparently, Ayrton's ship was blown up in a huge explosion. Captain Cutler took Ayrton, two other men on board, with their treasure. See? We're better than him. Reminds me, Stevens. Soon. We'll have to kill him. So what now, Captain Harding? Your men let Joanna and Gideon go. Call them out here. Luke! Stephen! Captain! Kill him! Now! What's to be first? Get away from her. One step closer, Poyo. Do it. Show them what a real swan you are. Call off your men. Now! Luke! Luke! Wait, my lord. Joanna, are you all right? Till I see the captain, she stays with me. Don't you touch her, I'm warning you. <laughs> you and whose navy? Try and spill it. They're fine. But Cutler's apes won't let them go unless we let him go. Well, it appears we have something of a standoff. Let's take him inside. They've taken the bait, my friend. History repeats itself once again. You both all right? We're ripping, Captain. Just ripping. So what do we do now? Well, as he said, it's a standoff. Get to the ship. It's the only way off the island. Jack, be realistic. How many men do you think are still aboard that ship? So what happens? We negotiate. What exactly do you want? Yes, well... Hmm. I presume you want your friends back. Is that right? Right. I will trade them for the treasure. And Ayrton. Ayrton? Hmm. Now, my men won't hesitate in killing those two off. It looks like they'll be in a little bit of trouble. All I have to do is say the word. I'd like that just fine, Captain. I won't agree. We have to. We don't have a choice. That's right, Harding. You 
don't. If we give him to them, we're signing his death warrant. But you know who he is, what he's done. He's killed hundreds of people. How do we know that those accusations are true? It's all here in his di- In his diary, Captain. I read it myself. I can't believe it's the same man. Show me. Where is it? Did you write this? Is it true? I'm just an old pirate captain. Treacherous, even brutal at times. But I don't drive children to their deaths by hard labor! Did such things? It's him and the treasure, Captain. Jack. Joanna. Get in. Herbert? No. No, you, he saved all our lives. You can't do this to him, Captain. What are you looking at? Load it. Well, what about Smythe? What about Smythe? <laughs> Very nice. Oh, yes. I see you'd like me to execute him. Well, I won't give you that pleasure. You condemned him. You can have him.
I hate you all for what you did to him. You're worse than they are. I saw him. He ran off like a frightened animal. That's how you treated him. Like an animal. He's right, you know. Still can't bring myself to believe that all this is true. Wait, there's more here. What does it say? It's in pencil. I can't make it out. Just a minute. I believe it was an omen to me. When I was plucked from the sea and put ashore, and granted a new life to repent my sins. But there is no peace. Only shame and unbearable loneliness. To die would be too easy. God has left me here to devise my own penance. Therefore, I must exist as a low animal. Lower, much lower than I once regarded my fellow human beings. I will not wash, nor attend to any needs of my body, until I have mourned one month for each and every one of the souls I have so wantonly denied of their existence. Can a heartless, despicable murderer, an exploiter of humanity ever be absolved? I fear not. I will never kill again for my own purposes, neither human nor animal. I hope that with the passing of time, I may become worthy to seek to face my maker and confess my manifold sins so that he may banish me to purgatory forevermore. Too small a price to pay for the misery I've caused so many. so many. 